Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding find the cutoff score for each school and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called schools with two different columns, school ID and capacity. School ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the capacity of some schools. The capacity is the maximum number of students the school can accept. Okay. We are also given a second table called exam again with two different columns score and score count. Score is the primary key for this table. Each row in this table indicates that there are student count number of students that got at least the score points in the exam. The data in this table will be logically correct, meaning a row recording a higher score will have the same or smaller student count compared to a row recording a lower score. And that makes sense, right? So basically, say uh, 10 people scored scores between 90 to 100 and then 10 people scored scores between 80 to 90, right? So what we can say is above 90 there are 10 people and above 80 there are 20 people right so this is what it says that the data will be logically correct so that is higher score will have the same or smaller student compared to a row recording a lower score more formally for every two rows i and j in the table if score in the ith row is greater than the score in the jth row then student chi in student count in the ith row will be less than or equal to student count in the jth row okay Every year, each school announces a minimum score requirement that a student needs to apply to it. The school chooses the minimum score requirement based on the exam results of all students. They want to ensure that if every student meeting the requirement applies, the school can accept them everyone yeah so this is important so every student meeting the requirement school can accept everyone they also want to maximize the possible number of students they must use a score that is in the exam table we are asked to write a sql query to report the minimum score requirement for each school if there are multiple scores va values satisfying the above conditions choose the smallest one okay and if the input data is not enough to determine the score the report minus one the order of the result doesn't matter so let's go through this example so here we have four different schools right different four school ids and their capacities and this is the exam table where it says that 10 people scored 9, 975 or above 60 people scored 966 or above 76 844 and above and so on so like 100 people scored 744 and above right now for school id 1 what should be the minimum score requirement so that two things satisfy right so that is the maximum capacity is you know fulfilled as well as the all the people that are satisfying that requirement needs to get that admission right because the question says that everyone who applies needs to get that so here it says ensure that every student meeting the requirement applies school can accept everyone right so if you see here if school id one, school id 11 keeps the score at 975 so only 10 people can apply that right because you know and the capacity 151 so you are basically wasting the re remaining seats but for school id 11 if you keep the score requirement 744 then 100 students can apply still you are not at full capacity but it is maximizing and since you only need to you know keep the scores from the exam table so the minimum score requirement for school id 11 should be 744 now for school id 5 the capacity is 48 so if they keep 975 they can apply like 10 people can apply if they put 966 right 60 people can apply but they cannot accept everyone because the capacity is only 48 and since we can only either keep nine like the score from the exam table and not in between or something so obviously for school id 5 975 should be the minimum score requirement because again it's a, the question says everyone who applies that is meeting that criteria can be that should be accepted right so for 5 it should be 975 for 9 school id 9 so the capacity is 9 and none of this will satisfy it like even if you keep 
the minimum score requirement 975 you cannot accept the 10th person right so for this it should be minus one why because the question says if if the data is not enough you put minus one as minimum score requirement again school id 10 99 right so for 99 if you see uh, you can either uh, put the score as 844 or 749 because in both the cases only 76 students scored that much marks right so but it says if such a condition arises always keep the lowest score right so for, for school id 10 we need to keep 749 right so if you see for school id 5 975 for 9 minus 1 10 749 and 11 744 this is what we got at right from the discussion so basically if you look at this what do we need to do here we need to for each of the school ids and their capacity we need to compare all the rows right and then based on that we need to calculate the scores so one way of doing this is using a left join because if you see capacity and student count in reality are basically similar stuff right so capacity is number of students that it can take at maximum and this is the student count right so the concept of join is that you don't need to have exact same column in two different tables to perform a join right whatever it signifies that should be similar right so here capacity and student count are similar now what we can do is we can use a left join to compare all this or basically keep all those rows where the capacity is either greater than or equal to the number of students right so basically we are trying to put the capacity of the schools more than or equal to the student count because the, if the number of student counts become more than the capacity then obviously you cannot put that score as the minimum requirement because you cannot take everyone from that score requirement right so let's start developing this and it will be more clear so from this table called schools right so from schools aliased as s let's left to join the exam table aliased as e on s dot capacity is greater than equal to e dot student count right so what will this do so it will say okay the cursor goes here the capacity is 151 so it goes okay how many matches it will find it will find five different matches why 151 is greater than 10 so it will keep this 151 is greater than 60 it will keep this and similarly now let's look at this one right so when the cursor goes to 48 it will say okay 48 is greater than 10 so it will keep that but 48 is not greater than anything else so it will only keep this row right similarly for 9 there is nothing so it will have null values right and then we can use the if null function so to say that if uh, something is null if the score is null you just return minus one right because that is what the question asks us similarly for 99 as well right let me just you know go ahead and run this right so that it is more clear to us obviously this is going to be wrong answer but if you see right so for values uh, so this is uh, school ID capacity score and student count so for school ID 11 if you see right so 151 and then you have the score and the student count so you have the score and the student count so if you see like the score is increasing and the student count is decreasing and because it is logically correct table right similarly for this so we have all the five columns and at the end it we have 975 and 10 now for 5 it only will be having one row right for 9 it is going to have null and for this one it is going to have all the four rows right so this is what it does now if you look at this right if you look at this output if we group by the school id because for every school id we need to calculate that minimum score requirement right so if we group by the school id and keep the minimum score right why minimum score because for the minimum score of each of the group right so for each of the school id so for example 11 right so for 11 there are five different rows right so this 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 and this one right 
and what is the scores related to it 744 749 right 844 966 and 975 and for them the corresponding val num uh, number of students is 176 etc etc right so for as i already discussed for the minimum one it is going to have the maximum number of students right and the way that we join that is you know capacity should be greater than or equal to student count so the this row if you take this minimum value right so that is going to be the maximum number of students that can be admitted at that score requirement right and that is going to take care of this condition that they want to maximize the possible number of students that can apply so what we can do is from this right so from this if i write group by right so group by s dot school id right and then for school id right and then i return the school id right so s dot school id and take the minimum value from the score column right so e dot score and let's alias this as score since that is what you know we need in the output right so again this is not complete but let me just run this to see what happens so here if you see right for school id and score right so for 11 we got 7744 right so for 11 744 for 5 975 for 9 we got null and for 10 we got 749 so we are getting the correct one except this one right so what we can do is minimum score is this can be put in the if null function which says that if this value comes out to be null then what do you want to keep it there right so in this case we want to keep minus one here right so now since we don't need to order this by anything right so we can just go ahead and run this okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how I do it. Again, it is kind of a tricky question, but you need to understand that how can you compare each row of this school's table with the exam table. And one of the ways of doing it is using a left join, but not with an equality sign, with a greater than or equal to sign, right? And then why did we keep the minimum score? Because that is going to identify the maximum capacity or the maximum number of students that can be admitted in that school and then we kept it in a if nulls because of the requirement of the question that if it is not uh, the data is not sufficient just return minus one as the minimum score requirement and this is how we do it let me know if there is another way which we can which you can do it and make this comparison apart from cross join right let me know in the comment section how the solution might look and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.